Hi guys and dance my fans. How are you doing? How's your day? My name is Ong and I'm so good to see you guys again. And yeah, today I am back with the another video. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Make sure that you subscribe the channel because our channel is all about helping people like you with your walk, relocate or retire in Thailand. So, make sure that you smash the subscribe button and if you're ready, Let's go! So today in the video, we are going to be talking about what happened if you pass away in the land of smile, Thailand. <laughs> yeah, I know it's kind of a weird topic, right? I mean, why are we talking about being dead or passing away, you know? But I'm pretty sure that that information could be very, very useful. So bear with us and let's get started. It is very important for you to uh, plan ahead while you're living in Thailand in order to make sure that your spouse and your family has a uh, easy life and uh, less headed after you pass away. There are a lot of things to think about and uh, you know like consider doing it as soon as you can and uh, we will discuss what are those things in this video. First of all, you should consider or you should think what your physical body to be happen after you pass away. Well, there are three choices that is available for you. So number one, cremations. Because of Thailand is the uh, Buddhist country, most of the body are cremated. The body is, uh, you know, bring to the temple to equip for the cremations. And the, after the cremations, the ashes are kept in the temple, or you can scatter around the country, or you can bring it, take it back to your country if you're a foreigner. And if you want to do that, you can contact to your embassy and uh, they will give you some paperwork to do and yeah, you can take it, those ashes back to your country. Number two, brewer. So this process brewer is uh, not very recommended here in Thailand. It is more expensive and the process takes much longer than the cremations. However, if this is what you want to do, you can also find the English speaking uh, funeral director and it is very useful for the funeral. There are also cemetery available in Thailand if this is what you want to do. Number three, repatriations. So if you have the insurance, most of the time the company will assist you and make the arrangement for the uh, repatriations as well as the international funeral director. So the process is you know as smooth as possible. And the, the funeral director, the international funeral director will also manage all the you know assets at custom to make this repatriations and the process take about 10 days. So another question you might be wondering is what will happen if you don't have a will? Well, if you don't have a will, the inheritance laws of Thailand will take actions and will determine what will happen to your property when you pass away. The order of the list of the heirs are listed below. And they are number one, descendants, number two, parents, number three, full blood siblings, number four, half blood siblings, number five, grandparents, number six, aunts or uncles and number seven is the surviving uh, spouse which is the statutory heirs which is subject to the special provision of section 1635 civil and commercial codes. So according to the inheritance laws of Thailand if you have a hair class above then the lower class of the hair will not get the share of your property. For example, one of your parents is alive, right? Then your aunts or uncles or grandparents, they will not get the share of your property. Also, there is one exception. So if you have both descendants and the parents, then the share will be divided equally between them. Also, if you have like, for example, uh, your siblings, right? So the, the siblings hair, uh, so if you have three siblings, uh, all of the, the properties will be divided equally between them. If you have more than one person in the same hair class, yeah, they will be divided between them. And if you have a spouse, then he or she will be the intertory hair. Uh, however, the entitled man will be decide on what other intertory hair you have. For example, if you have a spouse and three children, your property will be divided equally between your spouse and the three children. And yeah, I know it's a bit confusing, right? But you can also check the description below which will be provided the different class of the hair. So yeah, you can go and check it. 
So uh, the best thing is just create a will man that will make your family life so much easier and less stressful when you pass away. And by making a will, you will also be able to decide what you want your body to happen after you pass away. And you can also decide what, how you want your property to be divided between your family member. And it is also not difficult to make a will and a testament in Thailand. According to the code, in order to make a will and a testament valid, it has to be done by a person of the Salmai and in the form which I'm going to be telling you right now. Number one, the writing. Yep, so to do this, you need to write the date and a signature in front of two witnesses who also put their signatures. For this uh, type of will, no notification is needed to make it legal and bill it. It is you know, very easy and the very, very most common type of will in Thailand. And number two, so for number two is if you are if you can read or write in Thai, you can you know uh, make a will in the public uh, document, which you can make in the local office. So if you go to the office and like like the officer will uh, write your will, like you can tell your wish, and he will write it down. And after that, you just uh, make a signatures. Or if you don't want your officer to write your wish, you can just write your wish by your own and make a signature uh, accord, like together with two witnesses. They also put the signatures and then you give your will to the officer. By doing that, it will be very safe and it will not get lost, you know, it will be uh, very safe. Number three, for example, uh, you are not really in good shape and you know, like uh, you are really in that situation, then just forget about the first two options that I just say. In this case, you can make a will by a word from the mouth. So just say out, you know, what you want your will to happen. And yeah, it will be legal will. And you should know this in case if you are in this kind of stage. So another question is, you might be wondering, you said two witnesses in the first two uh, options. So who can be the witnesses? Well. It can be anyone, it can be your family member, it can be the Thai people, it can be even a foreigner unless they are a minor. You know, they can be anyone and some uh, mind, they can be the deaf, they can be the blind person or they can be the, the spouse, you know, they can just be anyone for your witnesses. So, there you have it ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you find this information very very useful and make sure and you know like start thinking if you don't want the Thai inheritance law to apply to you after you pass away. Also, you can call them to us and we will provide you with the recommendation of the law files to make sure that the process are as smooth as possible. And if you have more questions or if you want to ask more or want more recommendations, well, there is a link in the description below. You can check it or you can also visit our website bandsmile.com. And yeah, see you next time guys. Bye-bye.